So the problem, I want to take my two and a half year old skiing with us. This thing is a chariot. You can get ski attachment for this, but taxes in, it's like 300 bucks. That's a lot of money. So I happen to know somebody who took one of these and uh, made it into a ski sled and they go cross country skiing in it with their daughter. And they've got a single attachment uh, on this somehow. I haven't seen it personally, but I've seen pictures of them using it. I don't like the single attachment. I like the double attachment, like the uh, professional ones that you buy have two rods coming out. So uh, what I'm going to do is try to rig something up to this. So what I have, these I've had around the house forever. They're very useful for multiple situations. They're chimney sweeping rods. They're five feet fiberglass with uh, galvanized ends on them. And so I was trying to figure out how am I going to get these attached on here. I was thinking in the simplest case you could actually just do uh, some fine rope uh, as long as it's really heavy duty fine rope like mountain climbing or whatever and just do lashing. And just the basic lashing that we learn in Cubs and Scouts, you lash it this way and this way, uh, will probably work fine and hinge that. But um, you also have the problem of you don't want this thing sliding in that way, which lashing may not hold it that way. So I just went to Home Depot to try to uh, find some stuff. What can I do to accomplish this? And I think I have some things here that um, that are going to work. So I got one of these things. It's a deadbolt for a door, and it has. Uh, it's hard to do this with one hand. So deadbolt. You know how these work, basically like that. You know, this thing fits really, really well over there, but doesn't go up over the end. So what I'm going to do is screw a piece of wood onto here, maybe about this this big, actually a little bit longer, about that big, so it'll sit down onto the piece of wood much like this, and then you put another little angle bracket, a metal angle bracket, and I forgot to buy the angle brackets, put an angle bracket here to prevent that from sliding in this way, so you got four screws holding it down here and an angle bracket to keep it from sliding this way. Do that with both of them. Um, and then that would just be not attached to your sled yet. So how do I attach it to the sled? So what I came up with was just a regular hinge. So the hinge maybe can be screwed to the sled like this or ideally what I think I will do is get another piece of wood so that I don't have to alter the sled so that it can still be used like this I'll get another piece of wood put it across here um, and and lash that on somehow I haven't figured that part out yet but that piece of wood will be removable not permanently fixed onto the sled this will be fixed onto that piece of wood, my two hinges, and then uh, the piece of wood, the piece of wood that's holding this in place. Let's say it's screwed like that. The piece of wood would then be facing us on the top here, and then the hinge will go on that piece of wood on the other side of the piece of wood from this thing and the hinge would be screwed onto here. You'd have two of those with the right screws, the right wood. That's going to be really sturdy. I've got a woodworking friend. I'm going to ask him what kind of wood would be best to do for that. You're going to have to pre-drill it so that you don't uh, crack the piece or whatever. Um, I got one inch screws here for this. So I'm pretty confident in that end of things. And then comes the matter of attaching this end to me and that part I haven't got fully figured out yet but I do have some ideas on what to do so total cost 
Uh, I didn't check the price on these rods when I was just at Home Depot. I've had these around the house for about 10 years now, uh, just for various things. They're, you'd be surprised how useful they are, especially because they screw into each other, so you can extend them indefinitely. Uh, I don't know, they're probably 10 bucks each. Uh, all the hardware I just bought here was uh, about 30 bucks, so we're still in the $50 range. Uh, the sled we already had kicking around, you can buy them used. We bought this at a used store for like 10 bucks or something like that, or 20 bucks. So I'm in the $70 range right now, thereabouts. Uh, I hope to keep it under 100 bucks. Um, and that would make it cost worthy. So we'll see how this goes. I'll keep you posted.